So today is the day. We embark on a journey that will test the mind, body, and spirit. If you can withstand these tests and learn the things I'm going to be teaching, you could very well become the next hardcore legend. So Austin, are you ready for your first lesson? Yes, Mr. Foley, I'm ready. What do you have planned for me? Okay, so today's lesson is about resilience, the ability to withstand and recover quickly no matter what situation you're in. Many times in my career, I've persevered through pain like when my ear was ripped off or the time I was thrown off hell in a cell and dislocated my shoulder. It's all about blocking out the pain. Okay, cool. So how are we supposed to train for that? Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. You're going to stand right here. And I'm just going to get in this car here. A car? What do we need that for? I'm going to start it up. Then you just stand there, okay? Wait, what? You're going to hit me with the car? Are you insane? How is this going to help me? Everything's going to be fine. Just try not to tense up. You're more likely to get hurt that way. Wait, hold okay, on. Okay, counting Maybe down. Take a second to three, think about this. two... Ah, f Mr. Foley, I think I shit my pants, dude. I'm not kidding, man. It's running down my leg. It happens to the best of us, kid. You took that hit like a champ. Ah, did I pass the test, Mr. Foley? That depends. Can you get up and walk? I think I can... Ah, uh, nope, can't get up. You've got a lot to learn. Look who it is. Mr. Choke Artist himself. Can't quite get the job done, can you? Look here, punk. I'm going to become a champion in this company. And once I do, I'd be more than happy to make an example of you in front of the world. You walk around with that briefcase in your hand and you think that really means something? You think you're owed something? I hope you cash that in and win. Because if you do, that's when the real work begins. I've been there before. I know how hard it is once that target's on your back. And I know for a fact you're going to crumble under the pressure. And when that happens, I'll be there to put your ass to sleep. Well, being the sensitive, fragile prick that you are, I can understand how difficult you think things like being a champion can be. But when you're phenomenal like me, things come a little easier. You see, punk, you're not making any friends around here. Seems that's why you got yourself fired. I think you remember my friend Gallows? We're the OC, and this is our locker room. If you know what's good for you, you'll get to step in. It shouldn't be like this. At WrestleMania, I defeated The Rock. I cemented my legacy. I became the undisputed head of the team. My bloodline, the elders of the family witnessed that moment. My moment. But then later that night, it all got taken away. They took everything. They took everything from us. I shouldn't have been defending my title in the Deadly Games, let alone two matches in one night. I don't lose. I don't lose! Nobody pinned me. Nobody submitted me. And where were you? Where were all of you? You let a bunch of clowns get the jump on you. And then you two, you let their goofy ass dog disrespect our family. Then you go and lose the Tag Team Championships. The family counted on you, and you failed us! Cody Rhodes has what's mine. He never beat me for that, and he never will. So I'm gonna get my championship back. And once I do, I expect you guys to get yours back too. And if you don't, then there's gonna be a problem. Tibbles, buddy, what's been going on? You haven't been yourself lately. <coughs> Not this again. Come on, you must have misheard. Seth's been nothing but great to us. Did you see us out there? We had a great time, didn't we? We're champions now. And Seth's my friend. That means he's your friend too. Nathan! <laughs> Seth, what's up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Tibbles, settle down. Whoa, settle down. Hey, hey, hey. What's with him? He's just in a bad mood, I suppose. He's been like this all week. What do you got there? Glad you asked. Seeing as we are the Drip Gods, we can't just talk the talk. We gotta walk the walk, baby. <laughs> so to celebrate our championship win, I got us matching suits. No way. Hell yeah, thank you. Not just us, but I got our little Drip Dog something too. Wow, this is great. What do you say, Tibbles? Want to say thank you to Seth? 
Let's try him on. <laughs> well, looking good. Fresh championship gold, fresh drip. The world is ours. Indeed it is, my friend. Now let's see how our drip dog's looking. Tibbles, not cool, man. Seth, I'm so sorry about this. No. It's all good. I mean, how did so much come out of such a little? Not like that cost me $2,000 or anything. But hey, hey, we'll dry clean it. It's fine. But on that note, if you'll excuse me, Becky's waiting on the bus. I'll catch you boys later. Okay, man, I'll, I'll catch up with you. Tibbles, what are you doing, man? He got you this cool outfit and that's what you do? You can't just be taking dumps everywhere, man. You know I have to clean that up. This guy needs a fresh cut. I'm the only guy with a mullet around here, bucko. Shut up, or we'll shave you too. Got your mullet. Tell your boy Seth we're coming. 